This is the cortex. The left has Alzheimer's. See all the brown? And you could see all the patterning of the cortex just with the amyloid beta. Whereas in this treated patient's brain, the amyloid is now gone. And so what we've tried to do is understand how you go from that to that. We have drugs that are approved by the FDA for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease, but we wish that they would work better. And so what we have undertaken in this study is to try to understand how these drugs work, because if we can understand how they work, then we can understand how to make them better. So what we discovered in this study is the way in which the immune cells of the brain remove a very toxic protein called amyloid beta that many believe to be the cause of Alzheimer's disease. And we learned how these cells remove amyloid beta from the brain by studying very unique brains of people who were in clinical trials for Alzheimer's disease. They are vaccinated against amyloid beta. This is a, a patient who is treated with an Alzheimer's immunotherapeutic drug. The green is the amyloid. And then several years later, when they died, their brains were analyzed. And it was determined that some of these patients' brains had amyloid removed from their brains in response to the immunization. And so this gives us the opportunity to investigate why have some people are able to remove it from their brains, why some people don't, and what is the molecular or genetic makeup that makes that happen. where we can actually look within a person's brain at the genes that change in Alzheimer's disease. Yeah, so what this does is we have a tissue there. We have a capture slide here that has little spatial barcodes. We send each one on top of each other. There is one hypothesis that this clumpy sticky protein amyloid beta can start the formation of tau pathology, which then can cause neurodegeneration and the loss of your nerve cells in the brain. So if the theory is true that amyloid is causative for Alzheimer's disease, then clearing it from the brain should stop those downstream series of events and theoretically stop the disease in its tracks. We all want to stop Alzheimer's disease, and this offers hope that we can augment the immune system to help these patients and to help their families dealing with this disorder.